Oh, wait. Oh, wait, are, are my horns showing today? Yes. Just showing a little bit? Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> My horns are showing today. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Uh, we're back again at the bus with another round of what are we doing today? Tin. Tin. And windows. And possibly the windows. More than likely get the windows put in as well. Uh, we have the pieces for the back. They were cut. They were done and ready. Dad picked them up yesterday. So this is going in. And Dad welded that in. That was last weekend. We are good to go. So let's just start. We had tin cut to blank out the windows that we're not going to be reinstalling. We have X's up here. One, two, three, four for sure. Possibly five or six. So I had five of these made. And we just slip in here. And then we'll build a wooden frame along here so that the keeper for the window when it folds back over will press it up against nice and tight when we put the caulking in. And this on the outside will maintain the look of the windows which is what we like. We didn't want to just slap tin over the outside because it takes away from the look of the windows. A little bit more work but I think it'll look nice. There we go, I've got one corner piece set in, a couple, three rivets up in the top just to hold it. Had to bust a couple off to tuck it in behind there. This piece here, we're gonna have to trim that out so that we can put the original piece back on here. So we'll just trim that out later. I'll have to do some creative drilling, hence the big clamp on there, to drill a bunch from the inside. So I think what I'm gonna do is drill out all the bottom ones, start riveting bottom and top. When I get to the corner, I'll go one at a time and pull it all together as I go around the corner. So we ran into a section here where these big holes, they used to be screws and I don't want to use screws in there anymore, I want to put rivets in and the rivets were too small. So we've repurposed some of the tin from the roof on the inside and we've, I've cut a strip and we're drilling holes around and riveting as we go to pull the tin tight around the corner. And that gives us like one big huge washer, working out nicely. Okay, so I'm drilling holes in these trim pieces here. Um, and in order to get them to fit, we have to go, I don't know if you can see it really well, but the um, caulking that's on there, in order to get it to fit, we have to go and um, clean that off. So I'll show you how I'm doing that. Okay, so I'm using, we have a, a grinder, it's got a wheel and it's got the this kind of wheel, I can't think of the name. So I just start, start it. And then, so it's there. This is the easy that you really should do this with two hands. So I'll let you go and show you the finished results. And voila, 
the finished results. It is now even and I should be able to slip, slip them in underneath the rain guard easily. We broke our last drill bit. Had to go for a little shopping trip. Bought a few more drill bits. Bought the sealant we're going to use around the windows. And then stopped for lunch. We we're back. I mean, we're going to get back at this panel. Let me show you from the inside here. This corner, all installed. This one over here is uh, just set into place. Held in with a clamp there. We put that in right away and then it's just this piece and then the entire back is done. And then we need to just deal with the thing along here on both sides and I think we'll be able to get the windows put in today. Maybe tomorrow. Okay, as we give her on the tin here, look at that from the inside, looks fantastic. But we have come across a bit of a disappointment regarding our back windows. Uh, have a look here. The window frame is rusted right through. And if you look at the other one, it looks really bad too. This was a concern when we pulled it apart. Um, what we've decided to do, well, we don't want to, but we're going to anyway, we are going to delete these back windows. We'll have the big window in the door, but we're going to delete them by removing the window out of it, cleaning up the rust, and just putting a, a plate of uh, sheet metal on the outside to cover it up. It's not ideal, but fixing that is pretty close to impossible, and we're not gonna bother with it. It would just be too much. Disappointing, but we'll get by. Look at that. Got it wrapped around both sides. Christina's drilled the holes in the top and now she's putting the rivets in. And then I have to come in and mark it where the, uh, where the tubing is behind there and a, a line across the bottom and I'll space them out. Drill some holes and rivet it in. There it is. The back of the bus is enclosed once again. Got a couple of rivet pins that wouldn't come off with the rivet gun, it might be wearing out. So I'll have to go up there with a grinder and cut them. And then I just need to start up there. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to come back and Dad and I are going to address this area. Gotta cut that tin in the little corner there. And we're gonna get this yellow piece back in here. And then by the end of tomorrow, we should have all the windows, with the exception of the two front ones on each side, because we need to adjust the drip rail and stuff there. Progress, baby. Progress. Kind of looks like something out of Mad Max. Post-apocalyptic bus life. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. It is May the 8th. Mother's Day 2022. I'm heading back to the bus. Uh, Christina's coming later. She has an appointment this morning. So Dad and I are going to fix those back panels in the back corners so we can get that all put back together. <clears throat> and then I'm going to do some, probably a bunch of riveting today because that just seems to be the theme. Uh, I'm gonna rip. I'm gonna rip some uh, pieces of wood to use as spacers in the windows that we are deleting because it's just a piece of 16 gauge sheet metal, and that's a lot thinner than the window frame. So I have to make some spacers so that the window keeper we'll uh, catch that and push it together. I'll explain it when I start putting it together. But I am just stopping for a coffee and I'll see you back at the bus. I was not expecting this. Dad is 
ready to go before I even got here. I'll put some coveralls and we'll get to it. So in order to fix this back panel and make it match up with everything else when I put it back on, we're going to weld a piece of one inch flat bar along the side of this angle iron so that I can drill and rivet this piece in so that it'll hold it nice and snug. We were thinking of welding it, but that's just not gonna work. Have to do it on both sides because all that had to be cut in order to do the raise. So that's what we're doing right now. Okay, sorry about the wind. It's very windy out. I need to take this tin and trim it out so that this piece fits in here properly so that I can line it up here. So I'm going to just draw a line down here and across up here. I'll just trim, trim, trim uh, very gently with the grinder and not just blast through things like they tend to do. Both sides. There we go. A few hours, the back panels are completely done. And I got lots of riveting to do, but I'm a little sick of riveting, so I'm going to pull out the saw and start making some keepers for the pieces of tin little uh, blocks. I'll show you. So as I mentioned earlier in this video, where these panels go in here, of course, uh, hang on, hang on, working with one hand. Uh, so between here and here, where the keeper comes around, I need to make a spacer in here. I'm going to make it out of wood. It's just when the, that keeper right there, when that bolt's on here, it'll just force this up nice and tight. So I put our new saw together and I'm going to make a couple and see how they work. All right, the back's all done. I put the saw together and made a bunch of keepers for the tin. I didn't bother recording that. I'm going to start putting windows in. Uh, Christina is on her way, she'll be here in a little while. I'm using this DAP Extreme Stretch Elastomeric Sealant. Premium Crack Proof Elastomeric Sealant. Uh, Home Depot here in Canada, eight bucks a tube. That is going to go in and around here. Nice thick bead all the way around, all the way. Uh, at least a quarter of an inch and then the window goes in and then these keepers these go over top of them and you screw them in and it holds the windows in so yeah <laughs> i'm gonna get started on that right now It's like icing. Because it was so damn windy in here. No, I don't want a tarpit. That's a lot. Good, that's what we want. Woo! Yep, it 
doesn't harden it. You have to get it off now, though. No, you don't. Okay. You don't take it out. I can put a bunch in there, we can scrape it off, or when it dries, I can cut it and peel it off. Yeah. Okay, so I mean, these This takes a great deal of caulking uh, sealant, but better too much than not enough. You'll notice that we're not putting it up at the top. We're going to be using a door and window frame uh, spray foam up in there, simply because of the, the gap. It's a big gap up in there. Okay, there's window number one, in, done, ready to go. Window number two, in, done, ready to go. Then we started back over here at the big window at the back on this side. Then we installed our first blank where we deleted the window. I cut these wood strips off of a one by four. They are an inch and an eighth thick so that it will be the same thickness as the window frames so that when we put the keeper on, it grabs that and pushes the tin up tight against the caulking on the outside. And there we have it. All the windows or blanks are back in that we can put in today. Uh, yeah, that's exciting. One more tarp on the back, one more wind whistling through while you're trying to work. The front two on either side we can't do just yet mostly because we're going to be working up here on the transition soon and I don't want any sparks or anything hitting the glass. The very front one, well, I need to move the drip rail down and get that all built in properly so that one's got to wait a bit. Other than that, we've got glass in again. That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave us a comment. Give us a like. Leave us a comment, we love the comments. We're starting to get a lot of good comments. Really enjoy the comments. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Give us a like or a dislike if you don't like it. If you give us a dislike, tell us why in the comments. Uh, other than that, uh, check out our website, www.genx-ventures.com. See you next time.